Hey guys, it's Brie. Welcome back to my channel. And today, I am really excited to share a box I've been waiting for a long time for with you guys. However, I did already open it and sneak a peek at what was in there. Um, so I'm cheating a little bit, but it is my Bibbidi Bobbidi box. So if you're a huge Disney fan out there, Bibbidi Bobbidi Boxes is a subscription service, or you can get one-time boxes that deliver items that are from the park. Some of them are park exclusive. They have snacks in them sometimes. They have, I think you can get a one-time snack box. There's a whole bunch of different boxes that you can get. This is the $119 Ultimate Bibbidi Bobbidi Box. I obviously would not be able to afford this all the time, um, but my fiance actually ordered it back in March. Um, so this is actually April's box, um, but like I said, there are different tiers, different price ranges. I think next time we'll go a little bit cheaper, and I kind of feel bad, and oh gosh, I hope they don't hate me for saying this. Um, I feel like my fiance gave them a theme that may have been a little difficult because there was only one item in the box that was Tangled associated. Um, he gave them Tangled as the theme because we kind of see ourselves as Rapunzel and Flynn in the way that we kind of act. We feel like they kind of represent us. So much so that we were planning on having a Tangled themed wedding because we're dorks like that. Um, but I want you to go check out other Bibbidi Bobbidi Box videos because I feel like my box is not a fair representation of how awesome it can be. Like I said, I think he literally only gave them Tangled to work with. So there's one Tangled item in the box. I think next time we should just go with a general theme because you can put in your likes and dislikes. You can have a box themed after an entire movie if you want to. I know Miss Cherry, I will try to link her video down below. I know she had one that was all Little Mermaid themed and it was really awesome. So like I said, I think my fiance kind of made it a little too challenging, maybe, because I, I don't know, I would think by now there would be plenty of Tangled items in the park, but maybe not. Maybe it's a little more difficult to find. So, this is not a diss on Bibbidi Bobbidi boxes. I think they're awesome and I can't wait to try them again. But this box isn't like the other ones that I've seen. So, but I do want to show you everything that I have in here. So, let's get started. So, the first thing that I got in here is this card. It says, Happy Spring and Happy Unboxing. The flower that blooms in adversity is the most rare and beautiful of all. And I love this quote, so I'm keeping this. And it's got one of the little birds and one of the little girl mice from Cinderella on it. It's very cute. So I will be putting that somewhere. And then also a quick note about your box. It says by selecting less items would be fine as long as the value is the same. When you purchase your box, you let us know that you are a quality over quantity type of person, or type of subscriber. This month's box contains fewer items of higher value as opposed to more items of lesser value. We hope you enjoy it. And that, again, is completely fine with me. Not a problem there at all. And like I said, usually in this box there are three to four items, it seems like. Possibly maybe more, depending on what you have picked or put. Um, my box has three items in it. And also, there is a spoiler alert. I do not open the packing slip until after I've looked. Of course, I can now because I've already looked. And it has a different theme every month this time. It's Pooh and Piglet. It's very cute. So, if you watched my Gifts from Mickey snack box before, you already know the story, but I'm going to tell you for all the people out there that have not seen it. I'm 33 years old and I have never been to Disneyland or Disney World. Growing up, my parents weren't really travelers and also, even with both of them working, we didn't have the money to really go there. It's not that my parents didn't want to take me there. 
we couldn't afford it. So I've never been to Disney and it breaks my heart because I'm such a huge Disney fan. And apparently it breaks my fiance's heart because <laughs> he grew up in California and he got to go to Disneyland all the time. So it was nothing to him to like, you know, get to go places like that. It'd be a huge deal for me and I still have yet to go to either park. So he wanted to get me this box and I believe there's another Gifts from Mickey box too that is coming just so I can kind of not... I mean, I don't really feel like I've been, but, like, I have something to make me feel like I'm normal in that sense. I have some souvenirs, if that makes sense to you guys. So, let's get started. The first thing that I grabbed out of the box were my ears. My first pair of ears, you guys. Actually, that's not true. My aunt and uncle brought me a pair of mini ears when I was really, really little, but they weren't as fancy as this, and... They probably don't fit my head anymore, and I'm not sure where they are. But these are all, like, sequined. Even the bow is sequined. They're so pretty, you guys. So every time I do a Disney-related video now, I'm gonna wear these. And I believe these were $28, which I had no idea that ears were so expensive. And I know the tag is still on these, but I'm wearing these for the remainder of the video, dang it. Up is stuck in my hair. Ah. There we go. Kind of crooked. It's alright, I don't care. I don't have to be perfect. Okay, so the next thing that I got, which is the one tangled themed item in the box, is this postcard. And of course, it's from one of my favorite scenes in the movie. And it's from the Wonder Ground Gallery, which I know has a lot of really awesome artwork and it retails for $4.99 and it is a park exclusive item. Let me cut it my right upside down now. Try to get it closer so you can see the detail. So it's really pretty. Obviously I'm not going to be sending it to anybody. I'm going to put it in a nice little frame and put it somewhere. The last item in the box is very cool to me because I've never owned anything that's fancy and designer before, but usually when you get the ultimate box, there is at least one designer item in the box. This is a Kate Spade wristlet, and it has a quote on the front of it by Walt Disney. It says, imagination has no age, which I fully agree with. Imagination has no age, and it is just kind of a canvas and leather wristlet. I mean, it's not super fancy, but it's Kate Spade, and it retails for $108, I believe, is what it said on the card. I'll have to look. And it comes with care instructions in here. So, I mean, it's really nice. I can use it for something. I don't carry around wristlets often, but I will find use for it. But, I urge you to go check out their uh, some of the other videos by other YouTubers that have opened it because it is pretty awesome. Mine, unfortunately, I think the theme was just a little too specific, perhaps. So next time we will try something different. I'm very excited about my ears, though. Um, so I will see you guys later. Like I said, I will link the information down below. Ah, my ears are stuck. Anyway. I will link the information down below. As always, please hit subscribe before you leave if you like what you see. Click the bell next to it to get notifications every time I post a video, and be on the lookout for a giveaway announcement. I will see you guys later. Bye.